What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the new subscribers. Welcome back to the old subscribers. Hope everyone is doing well. I'm doing the What Do You Need to Know Right Now um, readings by Element. I'm on the Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Just because YouTube takes a long time to upload now. Some of the songs that came out for you guys were Catered to You by Destiny's Child, Come Through by Jeremy Zucker, Power Over Me by Dermont Kennedy, and Walk Away by Lanes. So maybe check those out. The messages for the fire signs. What's for the fire sign I need to know right now? Honestly, feel like they're saying do whatever it is that you need to do to be happy. Page of Swords. Something you already know, something you kind of maybe aren't saying a whole lot about. There's something you want to do, some of you guys want to do this on your own, or maybe that's your advice is to do whatever this is. Go after, you know, follow your dreams. Um, some of you guys are, you know. Having a little bit of anxiety about ending a relationship or going to court or getting a divorce or whatever this is because you don't want to break this person's heart but I feel like you already kind of know how this situation is going to end. Um, some of you guys could be dealing with someone who... It's a little bit immature. I feel like um, so maybe you have concerns about leaving this person by themselves to do your own thing. You're not really sure if this person can do things on their own, but it looks like they have quite a bit of help. Um, some of you guys could be kind of um, making quite a bit of money or hitting a lottery or maybe this is spiritual gifts for some of you. I do feel like um, whatever idea or plan or job this is could bring in quite a bit of money for you. Um, so maybe listen to this person's advice that they give you. Um, I do feel like some of you guys could be listening to someone who might give you cause to worry about things, especially when it comes to, are you really going to be happy with the outcome of this if we take this to court? Um, you know, maybe this person messages you, um, or there's someone that you'd want to talk to, but you're trying to figure out, you know, a current situation. I do feel like when it comes to um, anxiety and worry and, you know, not sleeping, I do feel like... Um, a change is needed. Some of you guys, some of you guys might even have a child that doesn't sleep. So maybe put the child in the car, or this child wants their bunny, and then they'll sleep better, something like that. But I do feel like there's a change here, something to do with moving it forward. I do feel like someone um, feels like they're stuck in a current situation, and they feel like if they were to move forward they wouldn't be able to see a child or something along those lines but I do feel like um, someone could end up losing because they're not they're saying that they'll get like a better lawyer than you or they have way more money but at the end of the day you know this person wasn't who that you thought they were and it's not that hard to see you know um, I do feel like there's a lot of opportunities here for you, but you do need to take this time to um, move forward no matter what anybody has to say to you about this, no matter what is being threatened. Um, think about the maturity level of the people that you're listening to. Um, maybe start documenting certain things or whatever the case may be. I do feel like someone, someone's father could be having some 
health issues. I do feel like someone um, feels like if they were to leave a certain situation behind or if they were to get a divorce, this person would try to take all their money for the child. But I honestly feel like if you move forward with good intentions um, for you and the child that um, everything you need is going to be provided to you and probably in like new and better ways simply because you stuck up for yourself and you did what was right. Um, because I feel like many factors go into these situations. And if this isn't something that you or this person has ever really done in real life, then they shouldn't be trying to give you advice on it or you shouldn't be listening to their advice. You know, um, it doesn't hurt to get some legal advice from certain people. Um, some of you guys, if you have the opportunity to get a woman lawyer, a family lawyer, I would do that. Um, send messages, you know, start calling people, um, explaining the situation about this so that when you go to court, um, you have all your paperwork lined up or maybe this is about having the legal representation. Sometimes if you don't want to pay like the lawyer's full retainer fee, you can pay them to, to sign or help you fill out certain documents and it's a lot less money. So that's something to keep in mind. But I just feel like this person is lying up to you about something and um, they could be the one that's held responsible at the end of the day as well. Um, I do feel like someone has some pretty severe mental health issues um, that they themselves need to work on. Some of you guys, they're saying, you know, go back to school, um, get this degree, um, don't worry about the issues, take care of your health, take care of your heart. Um, never stop learning, never stop educating yourself. Um, I think that someone could have, you know, legal paperwork sent to their door, but they're saying to um, be encouraged because um, this actually is going to be helping you avoid a disaster in the future, like a way bigger problem. So just have confidence that, you know, this is actually for your protection or whatever the case may be, you know, start reading books, doing research. Um, some of you guys may need to get documentation for like a order of protection from this person um, just because they're a little bit unhinged. Um, I do feel like if there's any type of injury or accident that this person will be, will heal just fine. I do feel like, um, you know, this introspection, this time of stress is like, it's a test for you to see what choice that you're going to make. And in turn, that choice is going to determine your destiny and like what's going to be happening in the next 10 to 12 years. So it would be mindful of that, um, especially when it comes to, you know, your 10th house of career and purpose. So anyways, that's all I have for you guys. Have a good night.